because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I believe we have our friend from uh, Cycles Research, Bill Meridian, on the line. Bill, are you there? I sure am, Larry. Let's go ahead, my friend. It's great, great to have you, and I hope you're enjoying your stay here in the USA. But please continue with uh, what you've taught us about these last few days coming up. You've mentioned this in the letter, and also congratulations on telling us that Trump was going to be elected. And you were flat out right about that, and we certainly appreciate that. No matter what, he, he got it right, folks. It doesn't make any difference whether it was Democrat or Republican, but he got it right. That's what's important. And the main thing is that you vote. <laughs> so please continue, Bill. Okay, let me... There we go. How is? Can you see that? Uh, it looks like it's coming through okay. They're going to give me the heads up here, and it looks like it's uh, coming through all right. We all have... Foundation of Cycles Research is a reasonable probability is the only certainty. So when this, I, if, uh, I, I left this in from the last time. If you want to see my interview with Dan Waits, he does very professional Hollywood-style presentations. So if you'd like to, it's about geopolitics. So now if you remember, the last time I was on, I put this up as a sign of contrary opinion. Here's a wake-up call. The volatility index, blah, 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 sharpest decline. In other words, it suggests bearish. And that was on August 12th, and the low was on August 5th. So that is contrary opinion. And now let's let's uh, look at two more. Here you go. Being under cover of time has usually boded ill for the person. Ivar Kruger, the match king of the 1920s, lost all in the 1930 depression after being on the time cover. Now, the, uh, this was the theory of contrary opinion by Humphrey Neal, which I think you can download for free now on the Internet because it's certainly out of copyright, is a very short, a surprisingly short piece of literature. But it's been used to great effect, and the greatest developer of contrary opinion, or the guy who applied it the best, was my late friend Paul McRae Montgomery of Newport News, Virginia, who worked with Leg Mason. And he pointed out that being on the cover of Time was usually the kiss of death. And he had numerous, numerous examples. And uh, I guess the, uh, that magazine that showed Trump on the cover as being loser before the 2016 election, which they pre-printed it, never <laughs> thinking he would win. That, that's one of the greatest examples. And I don't have it. I couldn't find it. But Der Spiegel, to, after he was elected, the German magazine showed the orange man coming to gobble up the earth. And it occurred right at a low. Now, it was another precept developed by Paul. According to the research of Paul McRae Montgomery, if a financial story makes the cover of a non-financial publication, its effect was doubled. The reason for this is that the story has become so well-established and the trend so mature that it had pushed its way into, out of its area and into the mainstream. At this point, the cycle was at a peak and the trend was ending. So here we see a political story on the cover of a financial publication. I think that Paul's observation about the multiplier effect applies in this case. In other words, if the stock market drops sharply and it's on the cover of People magazine, that's a buy signal. Because normal folks who pay no attention to the, to the stock market, obviously if you read Barron's, you're interested in finance, that means – the story is probably at its end. And here you see the Harris economy. I, you, also, this played a part in my prediction, Larry. So more contrary opinion. When the Dow is up 50 percent from a low without a 20 percent intervening decline, it's up a year later, 17 out of 19 times since 1900. This comes from Nautilus Capital. Very good research. And every single time since 1915. This tweet got 36 likes. 
after a day, the last two days we've had, this only got 36 likes. That is a sign that people don't believe the rally, which is the type of fuel that will keep it going. So, reasons to be cheerful, if you remember that old song. The monthly dynamic cycle rises into the end of the year. The one for 10 year cycle, composite does likewise. The average low in any year has been October 27th, which is past. The market has entered its strong October to May run, which is very well known. The November-January bullish indicator, which I pointed out last January, projected a January to January rally. That is, institutional behavior during that period is usually followed by a strong stock market. I know I used to work. I worked in the biggest one for 13 years. Most profits in the S&P have been made in Q4 of any year. Indices have gapped up. These are breakaway gaps. Breakaway gaps occur at the beginning of a move. Markets have broken out and point to much higher objectives while still near support, which this, which creates very attractive reward risk ratios. So we'll look at each one of these. There is the dynamic cycle, the S&P 500 monthly cycle, created from my software, which is spectral analysis. It extracts the most recent data, and that is its cycle. And I have internal numbers, which I monitor to tell me what the fit of that cycle is to price, and it does it in dollars and cents. In other words, I'm not trying to win the Nobel Prize in quantitative finance. We want to make money. If, the, if that money level starts to drop, I know the cycle is no longer a good fit, but it has been a good fit all year. I don't think I've changed it this year. Now, that is all other cycles. This is, for the, I'll repeat it again, but the one-year cycle is – the annual seasonal cycle. The market is usually weak in the autumn, strong in the fourth quarter. Uh, there's usually a strong Q1, Q2 correction. And then we have the four-year cycle, which is supposedly the presidential cycle that the Federal Reserve juices up the money supply in the year prior to the election, which is the strongest year in the cycle. The year of the election, second strongest. But the year after the election, which we're headed into next year, is the weakest. And there's the 10-year cycle, which is the decennial pattern, which was identified by Edgar Lawrence Smith of Ameritrust Bank way back in the 30s. And that is the sum of all the cycles. And you see we're in this period right now. Let's blow that up so we get a better look at it. There it is. Now, the difference between this and this is that if it's based primarily on the one on years, years come from where? The calendar. The calendar is calculated how? By the relative position of the sun and the earth. And that is an ellipse. It's not a circle. Some days are longer than others. Some days are the shortest days of the year. Then we have the longest days of the year. This assumes that all cycles are circular. So that's based on circular cycles. This is based on elliptical cycles. But they both point in the same direction. And we have to sell something. Got to pay a few bills. Got to pay a few bills, my friend. We'll be That's right the back with Bill Meridian, folks. Stay with us. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. We're back, folks, speaking with Bill Meridian, Cycles Research. Please continue, Bill, with the S&P results when October is down. Sure, Larry. This is a momentum measure. One, if October is down since 1928 with the S&P, one month later, which is this month, up 23 times, down 14 times. Two months later, which would be December, up 25 times, down 12 times. And you can see... It's 22 and 15, January, February, 24 and 13 for March and out to April. So the uptrend is confirmed by the October decline. And October usually finishes the month on the upside, not the downside. So in order to monitor this market on a daily basis, I watch new highs and new lows. And here you see the composite daily breadth with the new highs and new lows from last week. So Monday it was 91 new highs, 28 new lows. And you can see right out to the first, new highs were ahead of new lows every day. This applies to the S&P and to the NASDAQ. Now let's look at, and this is, if you remember my past presentations, even on days when the market was down very big, because the uh, this uh, relationship was very favorable, because it was the big cap stocks that were falling and pulling the market down while most smaller stocks were rallying. Now, in terms of market cap, obviously the big cap stocks have the greatest effect on the index. But in terms of new highs, new lows, they count one. A big cap stock is equal to a smaller cap stock. So that told you most stocks were rising as the big cap stocks were falling. And here it is from Wednesday, that big update, New York Stock Exchange, 471 new highs, 52 new lows. NASDAQ, 665 new highs, 155 new lows. So this is how I monitor the bull market on a daily basis. And this bull market is young. This is very excellent research from Carson Investment Research. If you look down here, here we are in the current bull market. It is two years long, up 61.1% of the time. The average bull market up 5.5 years, 181% as compared to 60 and there you can see all the previous bull markets. So is this bull market young? Yes. And this will be confirmed. Here's a, a source of potential buyers. Hedge funds are underweight the U.S. relative to the MCI world. Look, at they're, they're underweight. These guys got to buy. And if you've been in this position, 
And, uh, you know, I took over the tech portfolio in the Gulf in 91. And I said, I don't want to run trying to catch the uh, bus, or in that case, it was a Ferrari. Um, so I better <laughs> jump in now. And I was the guy who put Microsoft into the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority portfolio in 91. We didn't own it at that point. And here is the economic cycle. And I'm showing you, just want to show you how accurate it's been in the past. 2000. Uh, seven, eight, it peaked with the real estate bust. Then it was flat during that eight years when we had a, an administration that was not too friendly to business. And then 2016, when Trump was elected, you see it takes off, which is also a low in the real estate cycle. So let's update that. Here we are right now. We are out here. And as you can see, this, this is a, a composite that is run on Business activity, which is an index created again by Ameritrust, Ameritrust Bank back in – they ran their numbers back to 1780. They took any economic data they can find, and they strung it together. In 1988, they were taken over, and the first thing you do when you take over a company is you fire all the creative people. So I've been <laughs> maintaining the numbers since 1988. Now, here's the projection for 2025. In other words, six more months of weak numbers, then they start, should start coming in very strong in the second half of 2025. That is what I think the market is reacting to. Now, uh, apologies for this bad copy, but I couldn't get the book to lay flat. This is from, um, oh, what is it, uh, Bridgewater, uh, Bridgewater Associates. Uh, you know the book I'm referring to, and the, the chap, uh, the biggest hedge fund in the world. This is the USA central bank balance sheet as a percentage of GDP. Look at that straight up. Now, just keep that picture in mind without the blur. Here we go. Real house prices from Amsterdam from 1620 up to the present. You don't think this is a, an historic inflation? Look at that and look at that. Now, look at this. The median U.S. household investment portfolio is now worth 250000 up 70% from a year ago, University of Michigan. Current value of stock market investments by household. And now I was at uh, Carnegie Hall Saturday night. Angelique Kijo, very wonderful African performer, places packed. We go to the cafe and I took this picture. Bob Dylan, Saturday, November 4th, 1961, all seats $2. <laughs> I, I paid, what did I pay? Uh, 220 for two tickets. Um, to see Angelique, which is all worth it. Um, somebody once asked me, are we in a bubble? Uh, we've been in a bubble since about 1933 or since 19, uh, uh, when they founded the uh, Federal Reserve in 1913, we've been in a bubble. Now, here we go again. Home equity is at near all-time highs at 135% of GDP. And here is the average price of electricity per kilowatt hour in San Francisco, Oakland, California area. And now, what do all these have in common? This is the cause. This is the effect. This is the effect. There's the effect. And here's the effect. Now, I went to – this is Charlie Gasparino's uh, book introduction, his new book, Go Woke, Go Broke. This was one week ago Monday night at the WABC Studios in uh, New York. And that is the book, which you can pick up. Now, go woke, go broke. New ways to lose money. That that should that would be the title of my book, I think. Here you go. I showed you this last time. The Wilder Hill Clean Energy Index. If you would have bought it in 2008, you would have bought it for 290, and now you would be holding it at about 50. Here's another one, if that's not enough for you. Beyond meat equals beyond profits. This stock was trading back here in 2019 at about 100 and now you can pick it up for about eight bucks so now i'll tell you a little story sitting here in front of me one of these guys was uh is it charlie or is it joe antar the do you remember the crazy eddie scandal crazy Ezzy, crazy yeah, Ezzy, yeah, sure, sure crazy eddie that. he's insane and they busted it was his two sons running the business and uh, yeah. i think they fled right. the country and so uh, Charlie up here looks at Antar and says, well, this guy down here doesn't like me. So Antar came up with the perfect reply. 
He says, well, you wrote bad things about me when I was a criminal. <laughs> I couldn't think of a better reply. That's like the time... That's like the time that Muhammad Ali went on Johnny Carson's show after Joe Frazier had defeated him and his jaw was swollen. And everybody's you know, ooing and eyeing and Carson doesn't want to say anything. And, and uh, Muhammad Ali rubs his jaw and says, you know, Johnny, that Joe Frazier, he's not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> Perfect comments. Yeah, he, he was the king, that's for sure. Hey, let's come right back with Bill Meridian, folks. And just, I love these stories, Bill. I had a great Muhammad Ali story. We'll be right back with... Bill Meridian, Cycles Research, folks. Stay tuned. Great stuff. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, we're back with Bill uh, Meridian Cycles Research. Bill, I have a quick story, a uh, cute story about Muhammad sure. Ali. Kobe Bryant was on um, uh, Jay Leno's show right after he broke in as a rookie. 
and he was they asked him he said what was exciting about it? he said well he said my first day there he said coming in and they announced my name and he said he wouldn't believe it he said they stood up and screamed and yelled for five minutes he said i was so excited to be a laker i couldn't believe it and then he said magic johnson came up and he said don't get too excited kid muhammad ali just walked in the room <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he was a big fan over there, that's for sure. Go ahead, my friend. Okay, so the stock market. The market is likely to close higher in January 25 than it was in January 2024. That I started saying uh, last January. The tech sector has the heaviest weight in the indices. Funds have flowed out of tech over the summer into other sectors. And so I have had to adjust portfolios. I've diversified out into financial and industrials. Now, where's the market going to go? You see two rectangles, one green, one blue, and the we know that is a traditional and tested technical formation. In fact, the Financial Analyst Journal, the guys with the PhDs, tested using fuzzy logic various technical formations. And they came to the conclusion that the formations were valid, and the rectangle showed up the most, and the rectangular low was the single most profitable formation. Here you have a giant, a monster one, and you see the traditional measuring formula by the black arrows. If we take the blue rectangle and measure its height and project it up, we get 6,200. If we take the green one, we get 6,300. That, as we all know, is what? A breakaway gap. That occurs at the beginning of a move, not at the end. So the support is down here with a blue-green line, and the uh, what happened to my cursor? Oh, here it is. And the objective is up at 62, 6,300. This is a superb reward risk ratio, which we also see with the NASDAQ, which broke out of an ascending triangle. Support is down here, and its target is 21,000. And right now we're at 1819. So here's the seasonality for the S&P. Looks the same for the NASDAQ. Everybody knows that. And there's the 10-day. The other, other indicator I watch daily is the 10-day breadth moving average, advances minus declines on a 10-day MA. And as you can see, it was extremely oversold as we came into the election day. So now let's apply contrary opinion. I think this is a longer-term buy signal, and it is bullish for you, Larry, me, and most of the people who speak on Traders News Network. Look at that. That's fund formation of equity hedge funds, credit hedge funds, event-driven, macro, relative value, multi-strategy insurance, well, would they be folding up if they were successful? No. So this means all these guys need market timing. That's what it tells me. And it also, look, there's 172 funds formed this year. That's, uh, you know, at a level that was back in uh, 1998 or so. So this is very bullish for people who do successful market timing, and I think it's bullish for the market. It's a contrary opinion signal. So 2025 is a weak year in the four-year presidential cycle. But the decennial pattern will be the year ending in a five, which has been the strongest. The two have coincided six times since, oh, I think since 1885, with five closing on the upside and one being flat. The average gain is about 25, 30 percent. So the year ending in five completely obliterates the bearish effect of the year following the presidential cycle. So that's how 2020, you know, one thing that I've, uh, I, I remember a trader says never short the market in a year ending in a five, and I found out why. Now, here's the average performance for November, just uh, going into this month. All November's up 58% of the time for a 90 basis point gain, so the expected return is 50 basis points, but in election years, that's 62% up, a 1.9% gain, and 1.2% expected return. Now, years ending at four, up 77% of the time, a 2.9% gain and a 2.3% expected return. So it's combinations of these types of effects that create these big market moves. And this is, well, it's just the S&P again close up. And here are the strong months for tech. This is, in fact, one of the strongest months to hold NVIDIA, as we'll see. Now, cycles, research, stock screens, and cycles. Cycles plus seasonality plus relative strength equal profits. This is the strong stocks for the S&P 500. This is a, oops, this is a relative strength valuation. 
Lumen Technologies is number one, United Airlines, Norwegian Cruise Lines. NVIDIA was number one. It was like a number one record. Remember that in the, in the 60s and 70s? I guess it's still the same. It was number one for about 15 or 18 months. Now it is number four. Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, Carnival, there's two cruise lines, and then you have some financial stocks in here. Now, here are the most bearish ones with the worst relative strength, Super Microcomputer, Solar Edge Technologies, Estee Lauder, Selenese, Dollar Tree, Moderna, Corvo. If you take the top five and go long and take the bottom five and go short, you make money over the years. This is a strategy that I use for long short equity. It works best for the S&P 500, second best for the Dow. It works least, it's least effective on the NASDAQ 100. So let's look at some stocks by Tesla. Tesla, I mean, look at this. It's a big technology name. It's oversold after the huge market, and it's got higher lows in momentum, and it's broken out of a triangular formation to the upside has that hit its objective yet? No. Let's look at it weekly, down here weekly. This is the momentum, higher lows. You've got an upturn in relative strength. And up here, you've got a new high in relative strength, confirms a new high in absolute price. Monthly histogram. It's only 15 years, but November, is. this is the histogram of expected return. So it is the probability it will be up times the percentage profit. So it's the strongest month to hold the stock. Now, and here is, this is the solar cycle, this is the annual cycle, the seasonal cycle, whatever you want to call it, you can call it, it points up, and this is every other cycle that's extracted out of the data by spectral analysis. Well, look where it is, it's at a low. So, this is points up, this points up, you know, you don't get engraved into invitations to, to buy stocks, but this is what it might look like, and... Uh, Here's my other favorite is Grindr. If you don't know Grindr, it is the dating website for the LGBTQ+. Plus. Don't want to leave anybody out. Dating <laughs> website. And as you can see, I bought this stock at 8, which is back over there somewhere off the screen. And it just broke out of an ascending triangle. And if you apply the measuring formula, 9.5, that's about 4 point. This is going to 17, 18. Higher lows in momentum and a new high in relative strength. And what I like is it's one of those stocks that nobody ever talks about or even knows about. We'll be right back with Bill Meridian, folks. Stay tuned. Please do. Trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're back, folks, with Bill Meridian Cycles Research and looking at the Grinder Monthly Cycle. That's a new one, Bill. What is that? Well, this is uh, Grinder. This is um, the LGBTQ plus dating website. Stock. This is the company, the stock of that company. I didn't know and they so had a here, website for something. Oh, sure. And here we have um, the technicals look great, and here's a cycle. This is one of the reasons I've held on to the stock. I bought it, I think, in the spring for eight. And uh, one of the reasons I've held on to it is look at this cycle. The cycle doesn't peak until January. <coughs> so I'm holding it through the end of the year, and it just broke out. It's headed to 17, 18, most likely. Here is NVIDIA, obviously relative strength, very strong, the green line, breakout of an ascending triangle here weekly. And look, it is a big tech stock that is not overbought. It is overbought here, but it is not, as, it is not overbought weekly, but it is overbought monthly. So should we hold on to it? Well, November has been the strongest month over the last 26 years to hold the stock. And again, this is expected return. The odds that it will go up multiplied by the percentage profit. Now let's put it in that dynamic cycle. And um, wait a minute, where is the dynamic cycle? NVIDIA. Okay. I guess I left it out. I guess I did. But I wanted to make the point that I made with Larry Williams on a in a chat group. Uh, NVIDIA is cycle is peaking. Yes, it is peaking. It's peaking at a at in uh, about a month but i think the seasonality is going to hold it up until the end of the year so i'm holding it until the end of the year but then the dynamic cycle turns down so we'll have to reassess it at that time tesla daily now this is one of my biggest holdings you see a breakout from a triangle you see the momentum the relative strength now you know what i did i put this together in a hurry that is nvidia not tesla so sorry about this, folks. This is NVIDIA. Oh, I, Seasonality yeah, okay. will hold the stock up into, into year end. So there you see it peaks in the end of November, and then it heads straight down. So the Tesla cycle, I can guarantee you, points up. And Tesla is one of the few stocks that is not one of the few tech stocks that is not overbought weekly or monthly. So I think it's got a long way to go here. I think you're going up at least probably another uh, 30 points or so to 175. And uh, apologies for this mistake. Uh, I just added this in. Strong time of the year for Tesla, as you can see, also November. Now, bonds. I don't uh, project. I've got a low coming in in the middle of this month, but there's really no low in the 10-year note until January. So 
this is the result fundamentally, I think, as we know, of all the debt outstanding, and the new administration will have to deal with that. So I wanted to say something about notes. Now, oil is in its weak seasonal period, but that's coming to its end in November. It's the weakest month of the year. It's only up on the right scale 35% of the time. The average loss has been about 3%, and the expected return about minus 1%. And here's the monthly oil cycle. When does it bottom? In December. So then we'll have the seasonal cycle pointing up, and we'll have the monthly the monthly dynamic cycle both pointing up. So I, I'm short oil right now with a scant gain. I'm holding it until the end of the month, and then I'm reversing and going long. Here's oil monthly. It's broken down out of a formation. I'm surprised we're not down in the high 50s right now, or in the low 50s, I should say. This is the XLE. Now, this is the energy stocks. Note that they're different from the, the energy. The low for the stocks is usually in September. So you're getting you're in the strong period right now, November through into April. So I'm looking to shift into energy stocks as we move to the end of the year. Gold. Biggest inflow to gold funds since July 2020. See that? Biggest inflow. And... That was yesterday's decline. So am I bullish? Yes, it's a seasonally, seasonally strong time of the year, but it's over-owned. There are too many people rushing into gold. In fact, you can buy gold now in Walmart. I think I mentioned that story when I was a junior analyst at Value Line in the 70s, and the senior guy came in and said, you know, I just came back from lunch, and I passed Deke Pereira, the coin dealer, and there were blue-collar people lined up down the street to buy gold. This must be a top. Well, if they're selling it in Walmart, you know, the seasonal cycle doesn't top till January. So mm -hmm. break out from the gold rectangle. Again, rectangles are very important. They've been tested and uh, they are very accurate. So gold is likely going to 3000 based upon this $1,000, this breakout from this $1,000 high rectangle. And here are gold reserves at banks as a percent of total international reserves. So you want to know who's doing the buying. I think there, there's too much, too much paper assets out there, and the wise central bankers are buying up gold. There's the monthly gold histogram based on 158 years worth of data. You can see the January high to the left side of the screen. And uh, Cycles Research, we have redone the CyclesResearch.com website which is done under my real name, Bill Cerubi, and is geared toward institutions. Uh, Cycles Research ranked number one for market timing in 2002 and 2016 by Timer Digest, an independent rating agency, ranked number three in stock market timing over 19 years versus 170 services. Cycles Research sig signals kept, kept investors two to 300 basis points over the S&P 500, according to Timer Digest. And I was an advisor to one of Wall Street's greatest traders, Frankie Joe, for over a decade. decade. Frankie up uh, turned 600 bucks into 32 million over 15 years without having a losing year. Some years up 300 to 500 percent. And if you asked him how he did it, you couldn't understand the answer. So, so come and take a look. This is where the institutional reports are and the institutional services, which are weekly and monthly. And... Um, this appeared at that website in June, late May or June. I think I showed it on your show. It showed the, the NVIDIA cycle peaking. And how did it work out? Well, there you go. There was um, a June, June, July drop. Mm -hmm. And cycles.org, uh, cycles, the uh, foundation for the study of cycles is back again. And as of March 19th, 2024, Edward R. Dewey's great book, Cycles, The Mysterious Forces That Trigger Events, is once again available in a fresh edition. Wow. Well, hey, listen, thanks for joining us, Bill. I, I love sure. this stuff. I just, uh, I'm glad I've known you all these years. And yeah. folks, he's the best at anybody uh, with the astrology stuff for sure and his economic cycles. Bill, how many years did you work over there in the uh, Middle East? Was it about 12? 13. 13, I knew it was something like that because I remember. 13.
Yeah. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, Bill, and be safe, and we'll have you on in a few weeks if you don't mind. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey folks, this is the ABCD from April. ABCD, it measures to 2, 21, 199. I'm going to go down here to an eight minute, 13 minute chart. And you can see there's where we were right there. This is the number, of course, this will not mean anything when the Federal Reserve comes out. You'll probably see a print of 22,400 or something like that. But this is a big ABCD on the longer, a longer time frame, And uh, we're gonna find out also what's happening with notes and bonds. I've, I firmly believe that notes, well, we've had a pretty good move off the bottom. We're in a break even situation in that right now. but. There's a chance that these bonds could really scare some people. I, I know Tudor Jones and those guys wouldn't touch it, but this thing has been down now for nine weeks. Boy, I wouldn't want to sell that into a fill. Well, how can I sell it when I'm already long? And we bought it at 115.20. It's up a point and a half. Uh, we took profits of 1,500 on the first unit. Second unit, we've got setting at our break even spot of 115.20. So no matter what happens, We've made some money, and there's a possibility we could get a 382, maybe as high as 119, 
11. That would have been our second profit objective. Unfortunately, we're going to know about this in about five minutes, and I'm going to be off the air. So that doesn't mean a whole lot, does it, boys and girls? The short hog is still working good. Short British pound looking good. And the uh, gold is looking really good, and so is the uh, the uh, the bonds. So we got stops in. We've made some money on some of these. We're trying to protect ourselves the best we can, but that's what we're paying attention to uh, here today as we uh, get ready to uh, come into tomorrow. Uh, we have a live trading. I hope you can join us. And if the markets are like they are now, folks, we ought to be able to make some money because boy, we've had some great swings just in gold itself. You know, we shorted it up there at 17. Uh, 55 and we covered it at 27 excuse me 2650 one last night and went long and that's been a really good one and we're going to find out whether we have anything to go here now we have a tight grade to 382 on this but we'll be paying attention so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow folks